Hi, this is Dr. Fatima Qureshi. I wanted to talk about a few interesting cases that have been coming to our clinic um, in the recent weeks and months. I remember talking about a scleritis case uh, last time I spoke with you guys, and I felt like I should talk a little bit more about the prognosis, uh, especially since the patient came back to see me. So it was, first of all, it was a little bit of um, a complicated thing for the patient as well as some doctors that he had been seeing because they couldn't differentiate between um, the episcleritis versus scleritis and the type of scleritis, which is redness in the white part of the eye. So the important thing is to understand when a patient comes in with redness in the eye, we have to figure out why the redness is there. Is it scleritis, which is a deeper situated condition versus episcleritis, which is a little bit more on the superficial side if you look at it from the anatomical point of view. The other thing is in episcleritis, the patient is not going to have a lot of pain and a lot of times it just resolves on its own. Whereas in scleritis, they are going to most likely come in with very, very excruciating kind of a pain. Also with um, episcleritis, like I said, it just uh, goes away on its own most of the times. So you do not really need to put them on um, a steroid drop, however, with scleritis, you definitely need to put them on a, a on not just a topical steroid, but a, a but an oral steroid, and that's what I did for this patient. Just let me uh, do a little bit of a briefing on his history. So he was um, middle aged white, ca white Caucasian uh, patient who came to see me in my previous practice a while ago. And uh, he came in with excruciating pain, but he also had decrease in vision. And that was my biggest concern because um, his vision was not getting better. We had tried every, uh, other doctors had tried all kinds of remedies and treatment plans for him, but it just was not getting better. So when he came to see me, I asked him about his um, history. And I said, well, if it's a recurrent scleritis or even if it's a recurrent episcleritis, I need to know. I need to go deeper into the root cause of the problem. So I ran some HLA markers on him. As you remember, I mentioned that in my previous uh, video when I was discussing about this particular case. And after running those HLA markers, uh, it turned out because I was concerned about rheumatoid arthritis versus um, some other pathology that was possibly going on as in autoimmune diseases also. And then he told me after getting the HLA markers, done, I got a call from him uh, from a hospital in Baton Rouge. I was in um, the Youngsville practice at that time. Anyhow, I got a call from the hospital in Baton Rouge saying that he did uh, get diagnosed with a very rare kidney disease and it involves the lungs also, which is known as Wagner's granul granulomatosis, uh, for which he was admitted in the hospital and then he got better. Um, luckily, he came to see me back and he was super thrilled um, because of the fact that he got diagnosed um, uh, in, a, in the right manner and not only his eye got saved but also his life because that's a, it's a very rare um, granulomatosis I'm talking about that infects, that involves the kidneys as well as the lungs. So after the patient came to see me, I was very, very happy obviously to see him back in a much better state as far as his eyes were concerned and systemic health was concerned. And again, I would just like to uh, talk about this um, a little bit because I get a lot of questions uh, on my uh, page that someone has designed for me, which is uh, more like a blogging page, I would consider that, where patients from all over the world send me questions, and I try to answer them in um, in the shortest amount of time. Um, whenever I get a chance, I try to answer those questions, and a lot of patients are very, very confused and concerned about redness. I mean, a red eye could be a medical emergency, um, but a red eye could also be from allergies, a red eye could be from dryness. Um, um, a red eye can also uh, appear in patients who are using glaucoma drops, you know, or if their pressures are high, elevated pressures can cause red eyes or patients who use glaucoma drops, like I said, that could cause that as well as a side effect, especially if they're using latanoprost, which is a prostaglandin. It, it's one of the side effects is redness also or irritation, you know, those kind of things. But a red eye that needs to be differentiated as in whether it's episcleritis or scleritis is important because like I said, a scleritis becomes more of an emergency whereas episcleritis, like I said, it just goes away on its own. So just remember those things, HLA markers are so important. When a patient comes to um, an eye specialist, they're not just coming, just always remember, they're not just coming for the eyes because we cannot take the eyes as a separate entity. We have to 
think from the systemic disease approach and try to combine all the anatomy and physiology and pathology and biochemistry together with the eyes. And that's how we're going to help patients uh, fully understand their condition and fully diagnose and treat them in the best possible manner. So remember, scleritis versus episcleritis. Thank you. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.